I, I gambled away my paycheck to, to try to win a free cruise. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with an interesting cruise gambling video. One of the most common questions I get asked from people is, how much money do I have to risk in the casino to get a free cruise? And well, it, sometimes it's hard to figure out the answer to that. And if you know me at all, you know that I like to experiment. I like to experiment with uh, gambling strategies. I like to experiment with YouTube strategies. And uh, well, I like free cruises. So I combined all three of those things into one big experiment to try to come up with the answer. Uh, how much money do you have to gamble or lose or win to get a free cruise. Let me set the experiment up for you. The idea of gambling my paycheck to possibly get a free cruise, it's been brewing in my head for a while, but it really hit me hard in November. I looked at my December cruises and I said, well, uh, what can I do to generate some extra money so that I can do this experiment? And I thought, well, no better way than to make some experimental videos. I had the good fortune of cruising on Carnival's newest cruise ship, the Carnival Celebration, and it had been a while since I did a ship tour. Sometimes I find the ship tours and the vlogging a little boring, at least the way that I do it, and I challenge myself, how can I do this in a different way? Normally I'm trying to craft videos that are 10 to 15 minutes long, no longer than a half hour, and I make them very edited and I said you know what let me do a ship tour where I just walk around and I give people a real point of view a POV of what's going on on the cruise ship a, an immersion as it were so you felt like it was there very few edits very few cutaways very few looking at me just me guiding you through the ship and let's make this thing as long as it takes to walk around the cruise ship and well that's what I did I made a walking tour of the carnival celebration and that thing clocked in at wow it clocked in at almost 90 minutes that is a long video and well people People responded and so this was the beginning of the experiment as I watched the analytics for that video I knew that I'd accomplished my goal uh, let's take a quick look at how much money that video has made to date and as you can see it's made one thousand three hundred dollars since its inception uh, before I did the experiment with gambling it was at about the thousand dollar mark and I said okay well here's a good baseline here's at least a thousand dollars that's going into my paycheck that I can gamble to try to get a free cruise. But I was leery. I felt that maybe a thousand dollars wasn't enough. And after the success of the walking tour on the Carnival Celebration, well, I, I did another one. That's what you do in YouTube land. You look at your winners and you duplicate them. And when I went on the Wonder of the Seas for just two days, well, I made a walking tour of the Wonder of the Seas. And I'm really warming up to the walking tour long video. I hope you guys are liking them. If so, you could tell me about that. Uh, but yes, uh, history repeated itself. And as I looked at the Wonder of the Seas, it's also generated $1,000. That Now we're at $2,000 to gamble away for a free cruise. And well, just to have a little wiggle room, uh, I also made the Sweet Tour video. It's done well also generating $1,000. So with a nice bankroll of $3,000, the lovely Jenny B and myself embarked on the Sky Princess with one goal in mind. Let's gamble with our bankroll to see if we can win a free cruise. Here's how we split up the bankroll. Jenny B had $2,000 to play as much as she wanted on the slots, and I had $1,500 to play on the blackjack table, risking $3,500 of our paycheck to see if we can win a free cruise. We gambled a lot. We hit the casino every night. We hit the casino hard on the sea day. I think it's important not just to gamble your whole cruise, and certainly if people just gamble their whole cruise, that's fine. Me personally, I, I want to make sure that I'm doing other things on the cruise ship, so I always make sure I take in a show, have a nice dinner at the evening, try to do other things on the cruise ship. I certainly accomplished that, but man, I stayed into the casino on the blackjack table late at night. The interesting thing that I like about cruising, and I think everybody can relate with this whether you're a gambler or not they're kind of some cruise ship clicks uh, there might be people that you meet poolside or there might be a group of people that you meet at the main dining room or you may make a connection with the karaoke crowd there's always a strong camaraderie amongst the smokers who have to congregate at a certain place to smoke and well in addition to all of those clicks where people can get connected there's also a casino click certainly by the end of the cruise on the sky princess I was a part of the blackjack table click which is nice. You get to know people. You actually get to make friends. It's worth saying, and I believe it wholeheartedly, that there is something on a cruise ship for everybody. But here's how it played out. Jenny B gambled a lot. 
and well, she, she lost all $2,000 in the slot machine. I gambled a lot. I played every day. I would buy in for $300 at a time on the $25 blackjack table. What was nice for me is because of previous cruises, I had $300 of free play. So before I had to touch my bankroll, I started out with $300 in fake chips, chips that weren't cash, and you had to play through them. And on my very first session, I was able to turn the $300 in free play into $600 of real money. So one of the gambling highlights of this last cruise is that I was able to pad my bankroll with real money without risking any money from the very start. Now, I don't know if that helped me toward my free cruise quest, uh, but it certainly made me feel good. This is one of my personal strategies when it comes to gambling. On the first session, on the first day, try to take a win. If you're playing a slot machine and you got $100 in there and you win $20, get up and walk away and say, look, I won that first session. It, it, it helps you feel a little better. Sometimes gambling, if you don't really kind of you know take good care of yourself, can really be a mentally uh, stressful thing. It can be depressed. Don't ever gamble if you're not feeling good, if you're tired, if you're feeling depressed. Uh, there's something that triggers when you gamble that it's not good for all of those things. So one thing I like to do to set the stage is I like to take a win on the very first session. So while I did not gamble at every opportunity, I tried to gamble enough, put enough money at risk to get some sort of free cruise. I gambled throughout the week and well, my bankroll held up. I actually won $800 on the cruise. So I was able to bring home my $1,500 plus $800 to the good. But look, that was the experiment. Could we take our paycheck money and parlay it into a free cruise? Well, I'm gonna tell you the answer, but first, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Thank you in advance. Now, were we able to gamble our paycheck and get a free cruise? The answer is yes, and while it brings up an interesting question, Jenny B lost $2,000. I won $800 and both of us put a lot of money at risk during the cruise. Remember that, just because Jenny B lost $2,000 she had a lot more going on than that. It was, you know, it wasn't a straight lose, 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 lose two thousand dollars. It was, it was lose, win, win, lose, win, lose, and then the final tally was two thousand dollars. So Jenny B had a lot of money at risk during the cruise, and I had a lot of money at risk. I just happened to be a winner. So did the winner or the loser uh, get the free cruise offer? Let's start with me. The, the cool thing is, at the end of the cruise, you'll know exactly what you've got offered. They slide one of these things under your door on Princess. Uh, this says, special offer just for you, come back and sail. Here's what the top looks like. I don't want to reveal too much. It says, come back and play. Dear Anthony Barnett, thank you for joining us on the Sky Princess and being a valued casino player. To show our appreciation, we'd love for you to take advantage of this exclusive offer and come back and play with us again. This offer is valid on cruises up to 19 days on select Alaska, California coast, Canada and New England, Caribbean, European, Hawaii, Mexico, Panama Canal sailings only. Offer is available on sailings now through July the 15th, 2023. Must be booked within 45 days. And well, this is what I got, the big reveal. $500 in free play. No free cruise for me. The winner did not win the free cruise. That means the loser won the free cruise. Free interior stateroom with drinks, Wi-Fi, and crew appreciation included, and 250 in casino free play. This offer is valid on cruises up to 12 days. Alaska, California coast, Canada, New England, Caribbean, Europe, Mexico, Panama Canal only. These are sailings through July the 15th, 2023. Must be booked within 45 days of issuance. And this is something that we can both take advantage of. And of course, the other big question is, am I getting $2,000 of value for this free cruise? I certainly think it's possible in this offer to get a cruise that is worth $2,000, especially if you take advantage of all 12 days. If you go somewhere like Europe, like Alaska, I think you can definitely get your $2,000 worth of value. I know that the gambling's not for everybody and I know that gambling is for a lot of people. Hopefully this video helps you answer the question, how much money do you have to gamble to get yourself a free cruise? I risked my paycheck for a free cruise and we, we got it. How about that? Do me a favor, hit the like button. If you wanna hear more about the, the way a casino works on a cruise ship, I actually interviewed a casino host on Royal Caribbean, another YouTuber, Chris Wong. Make sure you check that video out next. This is Tony for La Lido Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.